The way we make things is changing, radically. A new set of ideas and trends have emerged and combined to create a new industrial revolution, one led by people and human innovation. They're using ideas like collaborative design teams and leaner, more customizable manufacturing. Once upon a time, a factory made one thing. Now, a factory can make almost as many things as there are people to imagine them. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Explosives company BME recently opened its first narrow reef emulsion site and training center at Platinum Miner Anglo-American Platinum's Tumela Underground Mine in Tabazimbi Limpopo. Ilan Solomons was there and filed this report. Tumela Mine production manager Pierre Prinsloor explained the significance of the mine trialing BME's emulsion system at its 16 west shaft and the potential benefits it may provide the mine's operations. In terms of uh, where we want to go with this, um, I think I, I have said it before that as a company we, we need to move forward, we need to look at new technology. Um, it's going to become an integral part of how not only Anglo but we as a mine actually want to operate into the future. Um, I think part of why we, we've actually uh, uh, started with this trial is because it brings new technology into the system and some of the real benefits that we are looking at uh, exploiting in terms of this uh, whole relationship is, as I've mentioned earlier, the advance per blast, sh reduced shaft time, the, the whole legal constraint you know, of explosives versus non-explosives brings into, uh, into our operations and the versatility that actually goes with that. Uh, a lot of those things still needs to be measured, uh, as we said up front, but uh, these are sort of early indications of, of the actual possibilities of, of what can be achieved should we be successful and so on. And therefore, we've decided as a mind to partner with BME and actually sort of start off with this trial to make sure that uh, we want to be part of those actual savings that, that, that is up for grabs and if it's out there, quantify them in, in a proper manner going forward. BME Senior Operations Manager Sauron Pierton discusses how the training and maintenance facilities that BME established at the mine will support the rollout of its portable charging units and narrow reef emulsion technology. This is an important day for us. For a while now we've been developing this technology and I think it's, it's the next step in underground explosives. It's a big leap forward. And as we discussed earlier today, this is now a UN Class 5.1 classified product. So it's the next step in supplying an explosive to an operation, but while it's supplied, it's not an explosive, and that simplifies the entire operation, and not only simplifies it, but makes it safer for everyone involved, and that, I think, is the main drive behind this technology. And the facilities that you saw today, the training center, because this technology is slightly different, and because of what we're supplying to the operation isn't a pre-manufactured sensitive product, um, it's important that the personnel using it understand truly what actually makes the system work, and if we're going to make sure that we roll out throughout the 16 West project without any hiccups, we want to make sure that they're adequately trained in the use of the system. Well, the training center, since we're on the topic, uh, composes largely of two parts. There's two sides to the training program. The first is the theoretical side, where we first need to educate the mine personnel, run through the basics of the system uh, on paper and make sure that they truly understand what they're working with and what the important points are. And from there, we actually go into a purpose-built mock-up where the mine operators are actually able to operate the portable charging unit as though it were underground and to get a feel for the system before they go and implement it in the real environment. As far as the office complex goes, here the purpose of this complex is to support the rollout of the system on 16 West and if it were to go farther than that to make sure that it can be supported adequately. We have not only the administrator's offices which deal with the paperwork and the in and off site, the site manager's offices, the junior's manager's offices, a workshop which supports the rollout of the portable charging unit, so any equipment that is deemed faulty would return to the workshop where it serviced the equipment, and then that is supported by four or so stores which are responsible for supplying equipment out to the operation. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.